Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Yes, brought to you. By, brought <laughs> to you by the Halpin Music Company. And. By Mr. Matt Van Voorst from Macias Insurance. And. Michael Kreider, Farmers Insurance. And Dennis and Pigpen. <laughs> well, we're here, so we're bringing it. Yeah, absolutely. It's brought to you by whoever I don't know, other than our sponsors we've had for so long, and we thank them. Hey, it was pretty cool being out there to help them. By the way, man, speaking that was a of party, that. dude. That was yeah. uh, man. There was whew, there was a lot going that, on, man. I was like, uh, I stayed till three. Checked yeah. out Age and Treachery. Yeah, no gold suit this year, though. <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, there was, but a, there was a lot show. going on yeah. out there. It was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Uh, thanks to all the people who stopped out there uh, last Saturday at Halpin Music uh, to celebrate 60 years of Halpin being in the area. And six of those years they've been sponsoring us. So yeah. one-tenth of their existence they've been sponsoring us. We said that so many times Saturday that it's ingrained in our heads now. It is. I can't forget it now. It's like Freebird. <laughs> 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 hey, or like a sea shanty sing-along, which they're having yeah. right now, probably at Morrison's. And they probably step outside in the rain every once in a while just to make it more sea-ish. <laughs> they, they should have some of those round windows, you know, to make it seem like the, there's a sea, rough sea right. out there. You know, some porthole windows, portal windows. Coming up tonight, we have The Intrusion as our guest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we interviewed the intrusion a while back and they are uh, it was like last week wasn't it? was that was that just last week yeah that things are flying by week. big man high yeah, speed and, overdrive and those because judas it's... priest is on tour <laughs> you know hell bent for leather <laughs> hell bent yeah, hell bent for go. leather <laughs> that sounded more like rob zombie's version but well you know <laughs> Hell bent, hell bent for leather oh my it's still bad <laughs> it's all I lost bad a feeling <laughs> Also going on tonight, uh, the open mic at Raging Cajun later tonight at 9 o'clock. Cross the line uh, at Fast Eddie's from 7 to 11. The open mic uh, hosted by Everhart and Light out in Godfrey at Baker's and Hale, uh, just underway. Nick Sturgis uh, going to be taking the stage at 7 o'clock at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. Bobby Rowland, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's, hopefully. Sometimes those get canceled there in the rain thing. I don't know. But that's Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Butch Moore and Friends, uh, they'll be going until 10 p.m. at the uh, Corner Tavern in Edwardsville tonight. That's inside. That'll probably happen. Pele. Pele's playing tonight. Wow, man. The old uh, goalie for the steamers? Pele? Uh, no, he was oh. like an international superstar. It's like the Babe Ruth of football. Football. Right. Football. Yeah. Indoor football. Mm. Anyways, Pele, 6 o'clock at Old Harold Brewery in Collinsville. Dave Horton, 6 to 9 at Prairie Inn in Dorsey. And Shotgun Creek doing there every Thursday night at the Silver Creek Saloon in Belleville. That's your Thursday night. That is a decent little Thursday night on a little river area. We are shifting, as I've noticed. Uh, some of the outdoor venues uh, starting to head for winter cover. Well, it happens every year about mm -hmm. this time. And, you know... Uh, it's it's nice that we we get to enjoy the outdoors uh, as many months as we do, but there are a few months it's just a little too cold. However, there are a few places that got those outdoor covered patios mm -hmm. with uh, heaters in them and still keep bands going uh, all through the winter. Sometimes, well, so. that's why we provide to you the service at Cottonmouth.org, where we have all these gigs listed, and I try to update them every uh, morning to uh, throughout the weekend. So if a uh, then you decide, you know what? It's going to be nice today. We'll throw somebody out there. Yeah. You'll at least be able to find a link to see if that happened. Absolutely. Anytime you're looking to see what's going on around the river, Ben, that's a nice, easy way to check it out. All in one place. Easy. So, there you go. All right. Well, let's, well, uh, let's, let's get on to uh, our Friday yeah, evening in moving the into Friday Bend area. Place. We're going to talk about Friday in our area around town. Uh, let's see, Lauren Waters doing 6 to 9 at the market at Milton, at the old Milton School in yeah, Alton. Yeah, cool. Yeah, piano's uh, at the Raging Cajun every Friday and Saturday. Shotgun Creek uh, in town. They'll be at uh, Fast Eddie's in Alton on Friday night, 7.30 to 11.30. Nice. Jeremy Drake and uh, company. 
The Grand Band, 6 to 10 at the Lodge at Lovejoy in Alton. That might, be a, that might be a weather-permitting one there, too. They yeah. could move it inside, possibly. Yeah, I was going to say, so. they've got a covered area there that, uh, even even though it's an outdoor area, there is a nice big covered barn and an area that the Grand Band could fit in pretty easily. Let's see. Heartland, 7 to 10 awesome. at the BFW in Alton on Friday. Lazy Lester nice. at uh, Shea, Maryland, 8 o'clock <laughs> Friday night. Jake Weber and the Lonesome Drifters, 7 to 10 at Bakers and Hale in Godfrey. And I've already noticed tough choices. You're going to have to skip around on Friday night because... Uh, so much going on. <laughs> it's pretty good so far. Yeah. I was out there at Bakers and Hale and uh, saw Stubblefield uh, on Saturday evening. And that was a, a nice show. They, they uh, usually have the bands in the sort of covered patio area. They actually had a nice big uh, tent out there that they had the band under. So... Matt Van Voorhis of uh, Macias Insurance, not on fire because he's insured. <laughs> but still, playing well. We'll just oh, not say yeah. fire, you know, because that probably puts him in fear. <laughs> uh, yeah. What else is going on When Friday? he hears my name in fire, he <laughs> thinks, right. oh, no. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Either one of us. Fire, oh, fire, no. fire, 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 yeah, fire, fire. Uh, <laughs> what else is going on Friday night? Uh, what else is Down going there at Family now? Chico's, now called Martin's Tunes and Eats. The Southside Bluesy Boys at 8 o'clock in Wood River. Know. Flip the Frog, 7 o'clock at the Moose in Wood River. Yeah, we saw Lynn out there we at, uh, at the 60th anniversary of Halpin. Right. Uh, from Flip the Frog. So just love to see all the frog flippers go out this uh, Friday evening to the Moose in Wood River. Right. We also got John Evans, 7 to 10 p.m. at George's Local Brew in Jerseyville. Money shot at Nick Goody's birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> That's at, Le- at the uh, Legion in Kane. That's uh, funny that... Uh, drinking at the Legion. I got a hold of Michael Kreider of Farmer's Insurance today, and I had noticed that. And I was like, I'm going to tell Nick that we're going to say his name on the radio. <laughs> There you go. Nick Goody's birthday party at the Legion in Kane. Mm-hmm. Um, we were just talking about Kane right before we went on the air because we used to, uh, our bands used to play up in Kane together back in the day at the Iron Horse Club. <laughs> it was a, 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 a strange uh, a strange place, but my buddy Richard Shaw up there a long time ago. So good times in Kane. Uh, also a, uh, on Friday night, we got Wade Trent, 3 to 7 p.m. at the Aries Winery in Grafton. Lead Sled, 6.30 to 10.30 at the Grafton Pub. Uh, Scott Mellis, open mic, 7 p.m. at the Hog Pit. That's Steve. Steve. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got Scott and Michelle on my mind. I just got a, a text from them earlier, but we'll mm, get to that. They tickled would, you, did it? Yeah, it uh, you know. So Steve Mellis, I'm sorry, open mic night at the Hog Pit in Grafton, starting at 7 p.m. Catfish Cat- Willie Duo, 6 o'clock at the Bloody Bucket in Grafton on Friday. Kapow, 9.30 <laughs> to 1 a.m. at Patrick's in Granite City on Friday. And uh, the Mercy Beatles, these are four lads from Liverpool. Hmm. 8 p.m. at the Wildy Theater in Edwardsville, one of two night performances. I don't know if they're really four lads from Liverpool, but that's how they. That might just be the, the the entire name of the band is the Mercy Beatles, four lads from Liverpool. It might be. That's that's pretty clever marketing right there on their part. I did check uh, out of a, a video and uh, very very well done. Nice. Okay. They did the uh, older Beatles. Ah, uh, the, right before they uh, well, the Paul McCartney era. Yeah. Before Billy Shears took over and they got psychedelic. Yeah. I, I believe tomorrow is the anniversary uh, of uh, tomorrow, uh, October 18th, 1960, the first time the four uh, that we know as the Beatles played together when Ringo Starr set in for a, an ailing Pete Best. Mm. So, yeah. yeah I got know. lucky there, didn't he? <laughs> well, I've heard Pete Best uh, was. Uh, Amazing. I had an album with Pete Best on it. The uh, best of Pete I, I Best. Still, I still got the vinyl. However, I had a dog years ago that chewed up the corner of the cover. Uh, yeah, now a, a, a Beatles album that featuring Pete Best pre Ringo days. The best of Pete Best. The best of the best. Yeah, there you go. Dave Cannellini, uh, seven o'clock at the outlet at Edison's in Edwardsville Friday. Benbo City Shuffle, six o'clock at Reese's Brewery in Edwardsville on Friday. Butch Moore and Alan White, six to nine at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville on Friday. The Owls, seven to ten at the Moose, also known as the Water Buffalo Club in Edwardsville. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. Now, now I got Flintstones <laughs> on my brain. I do too. And how they walked on their toes, that was so cool. I, well, and I get so nervous because you know Fred and Barney are always up to something and they get caught every time. They do. <sighs> It makes me anxious. Not really. All right. We got uh, Edwin Linson, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Bella Vista Winery in Maryville. And then we have oh, Strings man. Check and this Keys. Out. This, is, this, is, uh, this is awesome. Strings right. and Keys, Scott Marlin, Dave Horton, Bourbon and Beer, and Bill Forness. That's a Johnny Cash tribute. He does it very well. Right. And this is out in the barn, B-A-R-N. All right. In Marine. And uh, you have to have a map for your admission. Look for the bar in jam mm. truck for the parking entrance. And they've done some shows out there, and uh, yeah. they went over really well. So uh, that'd be an interesting journey. Marine's that, not that far. No, no, not that far. And that man. dude, Bill Fornis, does some serious Johnny Cash. It sounds really good. Right on. And then uh, I have to do this I, I, one. I kind of like it too. Whenever they, when you don't know where it's at, you need to, you know, you yeah. got to get a map. There's something about that. Oh, that reminds me. me. I I went over to uh, St. Peter's slash St. Charles backyard party with Feel. Yeah, how that their go? new release and uh, Steve Scorpina. Right. Was there? It was cool. Yeah. Dave Toretta talked to him. Nice. What was it a? Uh, it was a house party yeah, over there. So yeah. good times. Steve uh, busted out every. They did like six, seven songs, and he changed instruments on every single song. Just about <laughs> played banjo. He played like a distorted banjo, which right. was different. Yeah, you know, he had the lap steel. Nice. Yeah, and then Tyler Armstrong and Peel just took the place apart. Sure, man. They, yeah, they the cops came. Play. It was perfect. <laughs> perfect night. All right, all and right. finally on Friday night, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time from the <laughs> thrash metal era. Right, and uh, they are the guests, which surprised me because it used to be the other way around. But right, Mike Judy presents obituary with special guest Prong. Yeah, Prong, really man. Like Prong. Yeah, I remember those cats, man. They were uh, they were pretty hot back when we were in college. Yeah, I seen them open for Ozzy nice. on the No More Tears tour. So I mean that's that's a I, good billing there. I swear I saw that tour too. <laughs> Probably it was it was a big deal. Right, I I remember that one. That was a great one, man. That was right the one right before Osmosis. That I was believe. at the yeah. box. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, Zach Wild was up on the edges of, of those, you know, things over there on the side, whatever you call them. Kind of the where boxes. the uh, kind of where the Muppets sit and heckle everybody. Right, the box seats. Right, yeah. yeah. This is terrible. No, it's horrible. <laughs> well, it's not that bad. All right. Anyways, that's happening in a red go. flag, prong, and obituary. Obituary. And, uh, prong, I ran yeah. into a uh, metalhead out there at the uh, Halp, and he's the repair guy at the uh, Centralia location, one of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and uh, he's got some metal bands, and we're going to be checking into those guys. We have we don't do much metal. So, yeah. You know, try a little of that. We get a little here and there. It's still out there. We had the biggest probably metal band from our area both of them one on the glam side and uh, one on the uh, thrash side Anna Crucis, and then we had frankie from uh what was it broken toys at first king and, of the hill and then they yeah. changed yeah yeah there you go uh but yeah there you go we all we also had well i don't know who else we had it's been so many people i can't well, remember we had, anything man i can't remember right. any of it had it six uh, years i mean you know until we did the research last week before halpin we had no idea <laughs> right <laughs> I, earlier when you whenever i said yeah we interviewed uh, uh intrusion a few weeks back you're like that's last week it's like i don't it all runs together after a while it's just one long day man i'll tell you what i really had a good time doing and that was talking to kelsey who is the repair tech and helping that does like just the basic stuff right but i yeah. saw i saw her working on some frets on the guitar yeah. she was out at a table out there i didn't want to bother because she looked like she had a little line of people waiting to talk to her at that point in she time. did and that's because it was probably the most interesting booth out there i mean you you literally sat there and watched her you know do all the work that they do at Halpa music she had three or four different types of guitars you know acoustics and different things and uh did a nice job of explaining everything what she was doing and uh yeah Wow. Was it more interesting than the Illinois Central booth? Well, the, I don't know. You, know, you get they a were job on the radio there. with this. I know, and people you could get a there job. People getting there. jobs at that right. thing. Sixtieth uh, anniversary of Half of Music. You gotta love it, man. 
I'm going to well, send more money later because they say I'm going to get a job. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm suddenly going into the jerk here. Let's uh, <laughs> let's get on with our Saturday night so we can get on with the interview with the band Intrusion, who's uh, who's going to have a big show coming up, uh, playing the uh, Road to Point Fest, trying to win their way into the Point Fest. We're right. Talk yeah. to them about so that coming up. That's kind of a battle of the bands thing. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, and uh, so if you want to support a local band and help them move on. The best thing to do is show up at that show, yeah. buy the tickets from the band. Absolutely. Because it all makes a difference right in the end. It does. Even though it's made out to be kind of the performance that matters most. But if you got a wild crowd, just ups the performance, right? I, I would think I would think from a radio uh, station standpoint, it would be a little bit of both because they're about commercial, you know, a commercial radio station mm-hmm. like that, you know, such as The Point. And so. so this is where if you're a local band from that age group yeah you need to get out and support those guys absolutely so they'll come out and support your group and that's how it works there you go. i remember supporting you man just like a jock strap <laughs> still to this day i know me. <laughs> just like i'd a be jock. like oh the set liquid courage song again <sighs> go guys go uh, not this one again. go Go just, harsh. It just he would write. I don't even one remember any song. of those songs. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> harsh. I forgot about that band for a minute. The heavy metal days. Uh, good I'm times. reminiscing tonight on heavy metal because uh, prawns coming to town. No. In the that. meantime, Ooh, no, that's helmet. Oh, helmet. Sorry, that's I got helmet. the wrong. I tried. It's, I threw one out there. I was trying. I'm I'm going back to college, but it's been a long time since I've. Uh, I like the older stuff. Like I beg to dip up. Uh, Beg to dip up. <laughs> but the big song when we were in college was not that they were getting airplay on was Snap Your Finger, Snap, snap Your, your wrist. Neck. Oh, yeah, Snap Your Finger, Snap Your Neck. Snap Your uh, Wrist. I don't know. It wasn't a bowling thing they were talking <laughs> about. like it to me. I thought that, that was song was the, about... That was the Take the Skinheads skin Bowling, the bowling song <laughs> they're thinking of. Uh, you know, they're big fans of Pete uh, Weber, <laughs> St. Louis, right? You know, it's and, Weber Chevrolet, right? And Dick Weber, right? <laughs> Son of George. Looks like the greatest bowlers of all time. Right out of Uh, our little town. And good car salespeople, too. I I don't know. Right. Might as well, you Uh, know, share the name. I'm so confused. Where am I? Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, we're on Saturday around the Riverman. The Alton Uh, Farmers Market kicks it off at 8 uh, a.m. Then the Performing Arts (laughs) Grab Bag from 1 to 3. All right. Which is a cool thing where all these different artists get together and improv. Yeah. Yeah, and, and different can, styles. Like yeah. I guess someone's painting while someone's doing spoken word while somebody's playing a song. Uh, performance art, D- dressed like a piece of bacon, just flopping in a pan. Right, you know? uh, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Dancing, probably. Right. So all the arts uh, combined for one improv session. There you go. I've always wanted to check that out. I might, I might have to head down there. And then, like, if that stresses you out, you can yeah. mellow out later that night with the sanctuary sound bath right from on. Spound. Svound. That's right, 7 o'clock at Jacoby's Art Center in Alton on Saturday. Yeah. Let's mention a big gig coming up from Hayes Bond. How about that? Those <laughs> guys, remember them guys? They're so cute. They're a uh, cute little group. Wow, they are cute. They're going to be playing with that fancy saxophone band. Lofty's, Lofty's Comet. Comet. And yeah. uh, the sax player jammed on the new Hideous Gentleman album. album. Which yeah. is due out in like a month. Nice. And uh, the story goes like this from Jared Unfried. That they had him go in there and warm up. Yeah. And Jared's like, just keep that. And then he was <laughs> like, go ahead and jam it. So his warm up was so good he was happy with that. But, <laughs> and then, you know, they let him actually jam. Right. Get right. on with it. Right. Yeah. Nice. And he's like, keep that too. Now he's trying to figure out. And that's why it's going to take an extra month. You don't know which one to use. Well, sure, man. He's going to write a whole new song around the other jam. So that's the Lofty Comet guys. Do. And then uh, they're with Bring Me the Fires. So there you go. Hayes Bond, Lofty's Comet, and Bring Me the Fires. 8 p.m. at the Conservatory in Alton. Saturday night, October 16th. See, I, I, I was going to read that Bring Me the Fries because that sounds better. Right. I'm, I'm kind of hungry right now, so... Hey, bring me the fries, guys. Uh, that'll be a good uh, good show down at the conservatory. Uh, good good for those guys. They've they've had a rough time opening right at the beginning of the shutdown. So happy to see them surviving that. Right. Uh, also on 
Saturday night, we got the NGK band, 8 p.m. at Shea, Maryland. Right. Uh, pianos at the Region Cajon Piano Bar in Alton. Uh, Joel Ferber and Mike Ahel. Hmm. I'm not, not sure, sure to that's say it. that. Yeah. Ahel. Uh, A E H L E, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seven thirty at the Lodge at the Lovejoy in Alton. Then we got Naked Soul, two to six p.m. and Shotgun Creek, eight to eleven thirty at Fast Eddie's Bone Air. Riverbend Classics Band, six p.m. down at Chubby's in Alton. And then uh, the guest we had on what was that two weeks ago? I yeah, think? he was on the station earlier with Smash, Tommy right. Carlos. Tommy His day review release party is uh, Saturday at the uh, Hathaway Hall, Lewis and Clark College in Godfrey, 6 o'clock. And remember, if you get a ticket for that, you get the CD, the new CD. Yep. And then you get to go to the, the Moose in Wood River afterwards and hang out with them. And Billy Hurst and uh, Charlie Brown are going to be there, and they're going to be doing the round circle thing nice. where they trade off songs, right? Nice. That is going to be nice. Good times. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning that one. I'm leaning on that one. <laughs> Then we got Hooky, uh, 7 p.m. at Baker's and Hale on Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. This is a rescheduled event here, Pigman. You want to go with it? I think this just already happened. I think this happened last Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they had it listed for the 16th. There's yeah. a reschedule. Sa uh, so, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I know last Saturday when we were at Baker's and Hale, people were saying that right across the street mm -hmm. okay. they were having the Spring Haven Tremont reunion. Man, that's been a confusing one. So, yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's had a couple of reschedules. I'm okay. just—I'm not sure. So th it might be that it didn't happen last weekend, and people were wrong. But so that's just, what people at Bakers and Hale were saying last week. Maybe the beer barrel is just like, hey, let's just say it's every weekend, and people right. keep, people showing, keep up. showing up. It's <laughs> <That's, laughs> a great strategy. Uh, only thing better. It's almost like having a band called Free Beer. It and, works. Uh, the only way they would get more people in is, is if they said nobody was allowed. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, we got Cabin Fever, 7 p.m. at JJ Thermos on Saturday night. That's down at Eastgate Plaza in East Alton. On Saturday, Tripwire, 9 o'clock at Doc Holidays and Cottage Chills. Gracia Harrison, 4 o'clock in Super Jam. 9 p.m. at the Pump House in Wood River. G DJ Atticad, 10 p.m. at the Franchise in Wood River. Rolly Overmeyer, 2 o'clock in West Wind, 8 o'clock at Martin's Tunes and Eats, formerly Chico's in Wood River. Jimmy Strickland, 4 o'clock at Blue Stem Vodka in Meadowbrook. That's the Thalto address. Tim Crosby, David's cousin, 7 o'clock at George's <laughs> Local Brew in Jerseyville. The Rockabilly Revival, some church, 3 to 7 at Grafton Winery. I'm not sure if that's... It's a rockabilly church. I, I don't know. <laughs> Money shot at uh, the Gold Bar 7 to 11 at Rustic Retreats in Grafton. Michael Crider, Farmers Insurance, sponsor of the show. Hat Trick 2 to 6 and Big Deal Band 6 to 10 at the Hog Pit in Grafton. Tanglefoot 2 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton. Outlaw Opry 6 o'clock at the Oyster Bar in Grafton. Backwoods Burden 2 to 6 and Simple Therapy 7 to 11 at the Grafton Pub. Dan Grover, noon to 3, and Mesa Blues, 3 to 7 o'clock at Aries Winery in Grafton. And uh, moving now to Granite City, flip side, 8 o'clock at Patty McDee's. Worth the fight, 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City on Saturday. Scott and Michelle, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Parkinson Benefit at the United Methodist Church in Pontoon Beach. And then later that night, they head up to uh, Hillsboro at the Canton Inn, 6.30. That's Butch a busy day for them. Yeah, it is. That's a long day for them. Butch Morse kicking it off at 9 a.m. Uh, on Saturday morning at the Land. Land wow. of Goshen's Market in Edwardsville. Lanny and Julie, 2 o'clock at the Foundry in Edwardsville on Saturday. The Mercy Beatles, Day 2. The Four Lads from Liverpool, 8 o'clock at the Wildy Theater in Edwardsville. Scott Marlin, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Dave Horton, 7 o'clock at the Marina Bar in Holiday Shores in Edwardsville. And then uh, Mike Judy presents Bone Thugs and Harmony, 8 o'clock at Pops in Sage. Highway 615, 6 to 10 at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield on Saturday. Heartbreak Line, noon to 4 at the uh, Flugel Fest in Highland. That's the, guy, that's the Rollins Brothers. Yeah. Flip the Frog, 9 p.m. Uh, to 1 a.m. at Two Dogs in Root House on uh, Saturday. Roaming Home, 7 to 10 at the Third Wheel Brewing Company in St. Peter's. The Silver Bullet Band, STL. It's a Bob Seeger tribute, along with Big Love. Fleetwood Mac tribute at uh, 7 o'clock at St. Charles Family Arena. I think you can get free tickets at uh, Riverbend Records for that. 
Yeah. Also, Mike Judy back at it two more shows on wow. Saturday. Mike Judy presents Atilia with special guests Jinx Dead, Crown Hard, Graves Glory, <laughs> Bell, 7 o'clock at Red Flag in St. Louis. Wow. And uh, Mike Judy presents Steel Driver. That's a completely different type of band. 8 o'clock at the Sheldon Theater in St. Louis. Yeah, I've seen Steel Driver. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a country uh, or right. sort of Americana type band. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's what they do at the Sheldon, right? Yeah, well, they they do all kinds of stuff at the Sheldon, but it's usually uh, not, not a... Uh, a loud rock and roll type setting. It's a very right. quiet type theater. But Mike Judy gets around, that's for he, sure. That, All that, over town. For right? sure. He's getting down, old Mike Judy, in right. that big happy frown. <laughs> Punk Rock Art Show Music by Todd Keith, Club Zero, nice. and Wes Hoffman, 430 at the 31 Art Gallery in St. Louis. Todd Keith over there for the Punk Rock Art Show on yeah. Saturday. Moving on now to Sunday, Bud Summers Tribute Concert featuring Rob McDowell, Jason, and Jake McAtee, Mark Waters, John Mondin, and uh, John Han, 3 to 6 at Liberty Bank Amphitheater in Alton. That taking place Sunday, the Bud Summers Tribute Concert. Rest in peace, Bud. Naked Soul, 1 to 5 in Hollywood, 5. Uh, 6 to 10 at Fast Eddie's on Sunday. Brickhouse Blues Band, 3 to 7 at Chubby's in Alton. Darien Row, 3 to 7 at Doc Holliday's in Cottage Chills. The uh, Shell Shack Open Mic, 3 to 7 at Martin's Tunes at Eats in Wood River on Sunday. Two Pedros, 1 to 5 at uh, Grafted Winery. Lefty Preacher Sampson, 2 to 6 at the uh, Hog Pit uh, in Grafton. NGK, 2 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton. Kayla and her, 1 to 5 at Grafton Pub. Roaming Home, 1 to 5 at Aries in Grafton. And uh, let's see, is that all of Grafton? That is. There you go. So then you head to Chesterfield, the Trag Band, 2 to 6 at Wild Pickens. Uh, Lanny and Julie will be at Big Daddy's on Sunday from 4 to 7. And the open mic, of course, with Butch Moore, 6 to 10 at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville on Sunday night. Here, check that out. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's not a band, too. I, just I, before you say it, because I, I know you got to say it now. Goat yoga, and that this is where goats get together and do yoga. Right. They they find nirvana together. Goat nirvana will be found. Wow, I've never heard of that one. Goat yoga, ten a.m. Mm-hmm. And then Danny Caller, two to six at Bella Vista Winery in Maryville. Maybe that's the greatest of all time. That that's that's what goat is these days. All right. I I don't think so though. I think it's actually goats doing yoga. Goats doing yoga would be pretty cool. I'd I'd, I'd pay a few bucks to see that. So they'll have somebody <laughs> Sunday afternoon at Deutz and then karaoke at night. East Side Review six o'clock. The Old Herald in Collinsville. Butch Moore also doing noon to three on Sunday at Booney's Farm in Warden. All right. And uh, two fish out of water. That's Scott Marlin and Bob Emig. 3 to 7 at TR's in Belleville on Sunday and the Grand Band in Carlisle at 12 Oak Vineyards all going on Sunday. And I'm yeah. rushing along because I want to get to the intrusion interview. Yeah, we yes. uh, we interviewed these guys last week. They got a big show coming up for the uh, Road to Point Fest. We want everyone to get out and support them on that. Uh, let's get into the interviewing. Riverbend Talent on the Big Z. I'm Dennis Pigpen. I'm Pigpen. You're still Pigpen. That's good. Yeah. And we're brought to you by Halpa Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Forrest of Macias Insurance and uh, returning for the second time, sort of, the intrusion, <laughs> right? It's like completely different than the last Not time, except for Preston, different. right? It, 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 three fourths. Just different. like last time, except for three out of four members. Yeah. Are you? Uh, we have <clears throat> one returning member. That's Preston Shepard. What's happening, Preston? Not much. Just chilling, chilling, <laughs> playing music, going right. to college, and all that stuff. Now you were uh, you were one of the uh, the founding members of the intrusion and, yeah. and, and the only returning member. So did yeah. you, you just fired everybody? You're like Donald I, Trump. I, I, <laughs> defy it. <laughs> defy it. I no. guess so. I mean, <laughs> uh, so you, you've got a a rotating door on bass players. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce this guy. Uh, next to me is Jacob, the newest member. You can kind of lead toward the mic when you talk a little. Bit. Not Jacob. Like, not, not quite. <laughs> don't don't. Do that, no, I'm just teasing you, man. Uh, J- Jacob, you're the uh, the newest member and, yep. and a bass player. How you doing? Doing good. Just well, pretty much what he said. Going to school, playing in a couple other bands too. But uh, this is the main project. So 
Well, uh, well, you know what? We're, we're going to do a round table here. Now, I'm, I was going to go through and introduce everybody. We're, real quick, we'll do the introduction. We also got Cy Venom, new, newest front man of the band. Hello, hello. Cy Venom, and, and Cy Venom is wearing leather pants. And, and, and from the back looks like a hot African-American female to me. And so, you know, I'm going to have some things to say about Cy before it's over that might, you might not get the jokes if you don't know that part of it. Uh, anyway, no, Sasai, welcome to the ship for Sai. He's like, really, dude? <laughs> I drove all the way downtown for this? No. Welcome to the show, Sai. You are the front man? Yes, uh, thank you very much. All right, and of course, I uh, pressed him. We already talked to him. He's the drummer, our original man. And then uh, Lauren Logan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lauren Logan Tyler. I said Lauren. What's up? What's up? Uh, Logan is the guitarist, also uh, a new member since the last time. So That would be correct. So there, there's the, the the new members. Real quick, we're we're gonna get to know each of them just a little a little more <laughs> intimately before we move on and talk about some of the great Amen. things this band has been up to. Uh, just work our way around the table here. Let's start with uh, with Jacob, the bass player. Uh, man, who? I, I swear I turned this thing down. I don't know why <laughs> it says it's turned down. I just don't know. I'm not. It's a, that's a semi smartphone, and it's still smarter than me. Oh, yeah. uh, there you go. So Jacob, uh, you've been in the band. Three weeks now? A couple weeks, yeah, three weeks. Yeah. You're, you're like the 14th, 15th bass player these guys have <laughs> had. The second one named Jacob, too. Second, yeah. Yeah. The last time they were here, they had a Jacob playing yeah. bass, and he claimed to be the third bass player. So. I think it was the fourth. The fourth. Yes. <laughs> you and you told him, he's like, that's not very good. They picked three guys before you. You're not going to be here long. <laughs> and I'm yeah. saying that to you. Like, if you've it. already been with them three weeks, your shelf life is down to like two more weeks. So well, enjoy I, the ride, bro. I earn more time, you know, the better I play. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I think we found our bass player. Yeah. 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 Ear, earning that good time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nice. Uh, <laughs> so now you, uh, you you mentioned you're uh, you're in college pre yeah. presently. Uh, I go to college up in uh, St. Charles, Lindenwood. Lindenwood. Yeah. Nice. And and uh, playing some music up there? Yeah. I do jazz band up there. We have a little combo group we do. <clears throat> then I'm in the marching band. Nice. nice. Three piece uh, jazz combos, piano, bass, and drums. Hard to beat that, man. Yeah, we got like, piano, bass, drums, and sax. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, nice little melody in there with the sax. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, I've seen a lot of little three piece jazz combos, and you're like, they can cover with, with just a stand up bass, drums, and a piano. You can cover a lot of ground. It's great, yeah. Uh, so if you got the right guys, I mean, I couldn't, but other guys can. <laughs> yeah. like, so, People know what they're doing. Uh, yeah. They're those crazy guys with seven string hollow bodies. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they're just showing off, you know. Like, come on, no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> so, uh, you also play marching band? Yeah, yeah. I uh, do snare drum in that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm a little bit of a drummer myself, but well, nothing compared to my man Preston <laughs> over here. So. Yeah. yeah, that's good though. That the bass player knows how to play a little drums. That's yeah. perfect, man. Helps us like it. lock Connect. together. Yeah. 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 If the rhythm bitches ain't tight. The whole ship is loose. That's all yeah. I'm saying. That's what James <laughs> Brown said. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's sinking. <laughs> ah, so there you go. And, and, and I, I wish you luck with this band. I, I, I don't really see a good future for you. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Look, before the album's made, I'm predicting four more bass players. <laughs> no, I'm teasing you, man. I, I'm You're sure. undercutting there. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, bro, every time I every time I say how good you look in your shorts, I see a little a sparkle in Preston's eye. I think you're safe. For now. <laughs> I think you're doing all right. He sees what I see. In oh, that's great. <laughs> a little eye candy going on there. Oh, yeah. uh, all right. Next we got Cy Cy Venom. Yes, that sir. is his Christian name. That was when his mother <laughs> named him as he slithered out of the womb. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. Poor Cy. Cy, how long have you been uh, in the intrusion now? Um, wow. Uh, I believe Preston reached out to me uh, early summer, it was, mm. wasn't it? And um, we've just been um, getting together for um, weekly rehearsals since then, and we're on our way to becoming famous. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Infamous, for sure. Because I can tell yeah, when we get over to, to Logan here, we're going to get to the psycho killer part. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get real weird. But no, <laughs> so, so Cy, uh, you, you also, uh, in, in your scholastic years, did a little music studying? Yes, I did. I, um, I'm classically trained in vocals, so that's 
opera and everything like that. And, of course, rock and roll came after. Mm. <laughs> Meatloaf over here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, that, that's, uh, that's great because, uh, you know, like so many guys like me just like rock and roll and like just I'm a pirate. Arr, you know, I, I really have no idea what a note is. <laughs> but, uh, no, that that's cool. So where did you uh, where did you do your uh, vocal study? What what school was that with? Um, it was with Alton High School and uh, the incredible Eddie Hitchcock, who's oh, nice. uh, a very very good local uh, voice teacher. Uh, really taught me a lot of technique. Excellent, nice. yeah. excellent. And how, about how long you been been studying vocals and been a performer of vocals and all that? I've been a performer my whole life. No. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of the womb tap dancing. Crazy. Yes, I sing, I dance, and I wear tight leather pants. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and this brings us back around to from behind. I'm talking a lot, man. Like, whew, if he would have had a saxophone on him, I would have been bored off. <laughs> I've always wanted to have at least two female African Americans saxophone optimist in one band it sounds awesome it's i don't know dream. why uh yeah the cream dream bro what are you talking about <laughs> so, anyway, so there you go been in, been in the band and now uh you you also do some writing with the band or yes um uh, we all do a little bit of songwriting but uh uh typically if we're um just jamming it'll be um Preston and Logan coming up with beats and Jacob on his bass and I'll sit down for around five to ten minutes and I'll come up with a few verses and we'll put it all together. Mm. Nice, nice. Doing it quick and easy. Mm. Yeah. You guys shut up, I'm trying to think, man. <laughs> <laughs> what rhymes with intrusion? <laughs> intrusion? Oh, too close, I don't know. <laughs> Inclusion. And Inclusion, I'll oh, see. You are great, dude. <laughs> Too bad you're a psychopath. We'll get to that in a minute. First, we're going to talk to Preston. Preston, well, we're making our way around the table, but now we're getting down to, to the core of the All band right. here, down, down to the beginning. Preston Shepard, uh, drummer Hello. of the band and, and only returning member yes. of Intrusion. Yes. <laughs> the rest of them been fired. No, I, 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 uh, so so you've uh, been, been drumming how long now? Um... I think I went, let me see, probably got serious about drumming around like 10, something like that. Yeah. Got serious at 10. Like, you know. Like, like, who gets serious at anything at 10? Like, <laughs> I'm serious about my G.I. Joes or like, you know. Pokemon cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but just been, I don't know. I've been drumming around like a young age. Nice. Around there, but yeah. And currently studying at a school? Mm -hmm. SIUE. I'm going for music business. So, okay. Oh, there you so go. It's also the, my the dirtiest major. part of music, the business. <laughs> yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hope you're going there so you don't have to deal with business people and you can have a band. Yeah. Not because you want to get into the music, because otherwise I'm really we're gonna have to Rochambeau later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, and I go first. Yeah. <laughs> like no, nobody wants to be in a music business, bro. No, that. Yeah. I mean, how, how how proud were your parents? Like you, they would have been better off to your mass com. <laughs> 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 poor poor, poor, oh poor Preston. <laughs> like, there, there's at least three people going. Why do people keep coming into this show? Yeah. <laughs> so, so no, seriously, you're going. You're going from music business. What, yeah. what, what brought you into that? Um, I don't know. It's just there's so many careers in there yeah. that I was like, I'm gonna do that. But I kind of like performing, so maybe I could. I don't know. Just either that or music business. But I like. I'm sticking what I got with music. Well, the, I get I get why you want to get in the music business. Mm -hmm. I didn't care what my job was as long as it had something to do with music or, you know, the the three main sex drugs, rock and roll. <laughs> you know, it's got, I worked for a pharmaceutical company for a while. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> just clear the air on that part. Uh, so. Uh, so there you go, music business, hoping to be a performer. But you yeah. know, we, we brought up uh, our guest a few weeks ago, or last week possibly, it was Tommy Carlos, depending on when this plays. And we were talking with you about uh, him right before the show. He, he moved to Nashville at 19 to become a songwriter. Mm -hmm. And he said, in the interview, he says that's one of the reasons he thought people took him seriously was because he didn't want to be a performer. He said, I want to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. So what about that part of the business? You 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 consider that portion of it? Mm, maybe, yeah. Uh, I do a little bit of songwriting, but I just haven't gotten really serious about it. I mean, right. I just 
Not like drums when you were 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who lets a drummer write songs anyway? Yeah. <laughs> Stuart Copeland, hey, dude. Hey, we Neil did. Pert. We did. Yeah, Neil Peart. I mean, his songs weren't good, but he wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot take. I know, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to have people waiting outside oh, the yeah. to beat me up for that. <laughs> oh, man. Right? And the trees and the forest. <laughs> 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 Uh, best Rush album was the first one before Neil Peart was done. Now I'm really going to have <laughs> people hunt me down. <laughs> See, I've gone too far yeah. with my uh, There's some uh, good songs on that album. Oh, Working Man, baby. Yep, yeah, that's a but, good one. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm a huge Rush fan. I'm just kidding. I'm a huge Trailer Park Boys fan, so I have to be a Rush fan, therefore. You can't be one without the other. Yeah. I don't know. So your grandpa was, uh, was a musician, right, Preston? Yeah, he, him and his brother, his older brother, started a band called In Intruders back in like the 60s and they were pretty popular around the St. Louis area yeah, yeah. and that kind of like inspired me to form my own band so yeah nice nice and you you still actually play one of grandpa's songs right yeah, yeah chicken in the straw or what was it no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on I'll go yeah. on nice it's still it's pretty good it's a fun one to play but yeah cool cool well now Get to the dark part of the show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Tyler, guitarist, been living in semi seclusion for the past eight years. A lot of rumors flying around the name Tyler Logan. Uh, lots of missing prostitutes in your no, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know even what area you're from. Uh, so I'm from Collinsville. So and there are a lot of missing young girls up there right now. How weird. No, I, don't, I don't even know if that's uh, true. But. <laughs> So, so there you 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 uh, also uh, study music at school. Um, yes and no. I'm doing a double major, so you know I've uh, got some health issues, so I need health insurance. So I, that's my main thing. I like I like playing music, but if I can't pay for you know my medical bills, I can't do, I can't live. You know. What is it? Yeah. So um, I'm going for a double major in music theory and. Uh, then I'm trying to decide between um, computer science and electrical engineering. So they they both have a lot of sim. They both have the same gen ed. So like I don't have to decide till later. Right. And that also opens doors to work on production of like you know JBL speakers, Gibson guitars, Fender. I've um, I used to work actually at Swing City Music back in Collinsville, mm. and um, I actually went down to Gibson's factories down in Nashville and talked with the CEO. So he said, stay on that track with the engineering or computer science and that you'll, you'll probably get hired if you don't end up making it, playing music, you know? So. Yeah, there you go, man. Now, uh, you could get hired right over, right in St. Louis at St. Louis Music. They still got that going on? I don't know. Where they, they used to make all the... Uh, I don't cross that bridge. Are I don't cross that me? bridge. <laughs> it's a dark side of town over Why there. should I? Everything's happening over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I plan on moving to Tennessee though, because you know, no income tax. You know, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no better reason to move anywhere. Uh, so there you go. And, and uh, you, you guys all uh, been been writing together. But you're you're one of these bands. I asked you earlier. I said, do you you know a lot of bands just do covers? A lot of bands just do originals. You do both. Mm -hmm. You write your originals, but you play covers. I think that's smart. Mm -hmm. A lot of bands break up over the simple fight of. I want to play covers. I want to play originals. Stupid. You know, right? Exactly. That's what I've been saying the whole time. It's yeah. about time you spoke up, Jacob. <laughs> I've been wondering when you'd chime in. They said you were the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> His words are few but chosen. Right, Ben. You know, it's obvious you're the brains. He's the eye candy. You've got the money, and you're the oh, psychopath. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got their part, man. You know. I don't know. <laughs> we all got to know our roles in society. Uh, so you guys got a big gig coming up, though. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we no do. November fifth. Yep. It's Point Fest. The road to Point Fest. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, I worked at the Point. The place sucks. No, I'm <laughs> I, I, I did work at the Point I, when they were with Emmis. The great Emmis was an absolutely great company. Uh, I don't even know who owns Point now, but uh, uh, that's great. They've been doing the Point Fest for years. How did you guys dip your toes into that? Um, we were at. Open mic night at Bakers and Hale um, every Thursday, and we were like, let's just go down there and play a few songs. And we got the crowd like everyone was coming. We were drawing them in, um, and uh, a guy named Andrew Crane mm -hmm. came. He, yeah, I know Andrew. Yeah, he got he he got us. The, he knows Dustin, who all runs it or whatever, and he 
mention us and we got the last spot but nice. we were just we were just if it wasn't for him for him it, you want to be here you know right there you go and he's the drummer for spilly nelson right, right. Yeah. yeah there you go so and so you guys are playing with atlas on fire misplaced religion Mm -hmm. On all sides, gray flower and ton. Yep. Yes. On November. Well, ton on all sides. Ton is that is that what yep. that is? Yep. There's I was so trying many to figure that I out. Can't yeah. remember. <laughs> there's there's a lot. <laughs> the intrusions, the intruders, the intruded. Ton on all sides. <laughs> uh, the intrudable. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of vitamins I take. Intrudables. <laughs> Ten million strong and growing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming up November 5th at Pops. Uh, it's uh, $6 in advance, $8 day of the show. Do they got you guys selling tickets for that? Or? Yeah, we have tickets, so we're going to mm -hmm. get that in the mail soon. So hopefully if anyone wants a ticket, just contact one of us on our Instagram or Facebook. That's yeah. a way to do it because like, ticket sales matter. If you guys mm -hmm. get more ticket sales, then they're going to be like, these guys obviously are better. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Grandma, will you buy 10 tickets? That, that's the only way I could ever right. sell any tickets. My grandma was seen now. I'd sell her 10 tickets every day. She would remember. It's great. That's the way to do it. Yep. <laughs> then, you give, come. then you give the rest away. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of butterscotch pudding eating crowds, you know. I don't know. <laughs> He's wheeling in. Oh, yeah. Hey, you don't have to take your medicine if you eat your butterscotch pudding because it's your medicine's in the butterscotch pudding. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all right, that's, that's November 5th. Pops, these poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that is that's it, this is like one of those work your way up the ranks to get mm -hmm. to Point Fest and, yeah, and play yeah. Point Fest. So, this is what round one? Yep, yes. round one. This is our audition. This Basically. is the audition. Basically. Uh, Basically. Yeah. Nah, basically, hey, don't don't upset him. <laughs> Stabby gets to stab, and someone's getting stabbed. <laughs> okay. Hey, I don't have anything on me. We're good. I think there's like four rounds. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. The uh, cool thing is, you got your foot in the door for at least the first one. There'll be another one if yeah, you guys that's all that matters, don't yeah. move on. Yeah, so. Just getting this opportunity is, is great. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, incredible, it's, and yeah. we're very grateful for it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, you make connections over mm -hmm. there. I mean, you go over there, you know, put them up front for some eye candy, keep them <laughs> hidden in the oh, bag, keep, it, keep him unarmed so that he <laughs> dies that night. No. <laughs> no. Poor, uh, poor Logan. He, he He's never killed anyone that I know of, so there you go. I'm sorry, Logan. You but guys, you don't know everybody. So. I don't know, I, and I don't ask either. I really don't want to know. Uh, but I heard that that's what happened to three out of four members that were here last time. <laughs> There's a shallow grave <laughs> behind this gig they played somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that that's uh, that's cool. You guys uh, hope uh, any idea when uh, when they're gonna do they announce the winners like that night? Um, I don't think so. I think on uh, probably on air the next day. Yeah. Or something. yeah, yeah. So there you go. Cool, man. Good luck to you guys on that. Did you uh, you got any recordings going on? um in the future looking into it maybe maybe yeah. yeah right now no just because you know we're all college students we're broke <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but but um we've got some songs we're, we're, we're working on songs we're working on getting the album written and then then we'll do fundraising once we get everything written right yeah. we discussed this already you're gonna sell candy bars to raise funds yeah for. <laughs> definitely i'll take four caramels and two crisps <laughs> 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 So I imagine you guys are all in school band too. I I would think yeah. you were, and you yeah, were probably. Yeah, I am. I'm in the jazz band. And then you were in probably chorus and all the things that go along with singing in school too. Yeah, right? growing up, not as much anymore. Uh, I don't have time to be enrolled in that with my academics, but. Yeah. yeah, but you guys all got some real musical training as mm -hmm. opposed yes, to yeah. just playing punk rock, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's got to uh, be interesting having that all going on now, uh, Preston, mm -hmm. with the band, right? Yeah. Something different. I like it. And then each one of you are diving into a little bit different part of the music industry. I see where mm -hmm. this is going. That's why he's choosing business. <laughs> this guy's going to repair amplifiers and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> Those guys over there obviously are the real musicians in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, believe, I, I believe Logan will be a great 
a repairman, and, 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 and Amp, he's going to actually invent new pedals that we're all going to buy nice. someday. <laughs> uh, uh, he's going to be managed by Preston over here. He's going to be managing right? all these guys because right. what he's going to do. Yes. So he gets a percentage of everybody. Yeah. Size, oh, yeah. size right. is going to be an amazing front man, right. and Jacob is going to be retreading tires somewhere. Not everybody gets to make it, man. No, Sorry. I mean, it's not <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> that's the business for you. Right. <laughs> Hey, at least you're not going to end up in prison. I didn't tell the truth about Logan, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm fine with my 9 to 5. So, uh, what got you guys into school band? Was it your parents? Were they encouraging? Did your parents all play music, or...? I just didn't play sports. Yeah? I was like, I play the bass. And I did jazz band for, like, five years in school, and I played bass all five years. And I actually started on the clarinet. I was wondering. Enough. Yeah. That's, like, the grade school instrument? Yeah, like, yeah. that's the one I got placed on or whatever right and then in high school i moved to a uh, drum line which got me into playing drums and uh i did snare drum for four years and bass and jazz band for four years in high school and yeah. i went to waterloo high school not from here okay i'm sorry yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone says now, i know i know anyone who you know has been to waterloo high school <laughs> not a a team there man those girls are agnostic <laughs> or waterloo i'm gonna get beat up there's gonna be rush fans and girls from waterloo no, waiting outside you don't gotta studio. worry about them. <laughs> oh i'm worried about them girls i've seen them <laughs> the linebackers most of them no, i'm just kidding i don't know i think they do got a couple girls on the football team right now in all seriousness well that's is it Two hand touch below the waist. I don't know. I, it was National Touch Football Day yesterday or today. I don't know. I'm making all this up. Let's just move on. Yeah. Let's get back to this interview. What's happening here? What about a studio musician, Preston? You know, they always look for drummers in the uh, studio. Yeah, that's something that could be interesting. I don't know. I, I might want to do in the future, but I might. Have to, I don't know. As far as long term goals, if I ended up touring, you know, with these guys or another band. You know, a long-term goal would be to use that to be a studio musician, a session musician. And they make good money. Because yeah. you make decent money. You don't have to travel all the time. You're going you to actually spend time with your family, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't have a family yet. See, Not you're yet. you saying that. Once you get <laughs> one, you're going to I'm talking long-term, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm talking long-term. <laughs> Obviously, long-term. He's worried about his health. So, I mean, you know, he's thinking down the line. He is. He's thinking so, more than I am. Who, what kind of guitar players are you into? So... Um, I didn't really get serious about guitar until, you know, 10. Uh, no, <laughs> I started playing at 10, but I didn't get serious until 13. All right. Preston's got me beat by a couple years, oh, yeah. but I heard, um, Gary Clark Jr.'s bright lights. And I was just like, what is that? I want to do that. Up until that point, I was just playing in church. So right. I was, uh, you know, playing the easy, you know, CCM contemporary Christian music. There's not too much going on there. <laughs> not at all. Shots fired, but uh, you know, <laughs> once I once I heard Gary Clark Jr., I was just like, I want to do that. So I sat and learned the entire Black and Blue album, the entire story of Sonny Boy Slim album, learned both of those, and um, then it just kind of grew from there. After that, I got into you know the classic rock guys that you think of, you know um, Led Zeppelin, Free, um, Black Sabbath, that kind of stuff. Got into that and. Uh, these days, I'm into a lot of like progressive music, so like Polyphia and nice. um, Era, and you know, I think same. <laughs> are, you're going to see Era too when they come to yeah. um, the Red Flag, right? Yep. So me and him are going to go see Era when they come, Era and August Burns Red when they come to the Red Flag. But that should be a fun concert. It's very different music than we play. So very it's different. Funny, but so <laughs> yeah, we draw influences musically all over Everywhere. the place. Yeah. Did you say Periphery? Uh, Polyphia, but I also oh, okay, listen to Periphery. Yeah, it's a good okay, one. Yeah, yeah I, I was listening to Periphery on the way here. Yeah, <laughs> I love those guys. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh, what kind of guitar you got? It depends on the mood. I've I, working at Swing City. I've picked up quite a few. Um, I had a feeling. Yeah, so I've got twenty two right now. Wow, including my basses and my mandolins. So, how, how do you find time to time to tune them all? I don't. <laughs> right? like, some of them Some of them I've kept along for investment purposes. Like, um, I've got uh, Gibson Firebird, which, you know, I've made. I haven't sold it, but I can make money on buying it. And I've also got an SG that I could make money on as well. 
the main one that I play with these, the main two that I play with these guys are my um, 2016 Les Paul Traditional, which I just completely replaced everything on and made it look like an old Les Paul. So it's like, a young man's guitar. <laughs> it's a heavy guitar. Mine's mine's actually not that heavy. It's like eight pounds. <clears throat> eight pounds, really? Les Paul. Yeah, which which ain't which isn't bad. Twenty eight pounds is what he means. <laughs> no, it's like eight pounds. It's super light. Wow. Um, and then I've got the main one that I play though is my sixty three SG. Ooh. So um, nice. that one, you know, I bought from Tyler Armstrong. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you know, he's from Field. Mm -hmm. Um, so they're playing at Al's party tonight. Yeah, That's right there. Holly ninety four. No, tomorrow. tomorrow. Or Friday no, night. tomorrow night. Friday night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're, I don't know what day it is. Yeah, yeah. Friday. Um, but it's not Friday. Or it would be today. I'm saying tomorrow. Yeah, that happened to you too. I got here. I thought it was Tuesday, and it's not. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but by no, the time I, this airs, it'll all be wrong. I, anyway. I bought it from him. And, <laughs> you know, we're gonna go see. We're actually gonna go to the house party too. And mm. that's what nice. I was thinking. Nice. I got the map. Yeah. I like places where you have to have a map and kind of sneak into. Yeah. Right. And Steve Squirpine is involved, so it's got to be a little. Yeah. yeah, it'll be fun. Good mm. times. Good times will be had by all. Oh, yeah. You ever buy a guitar off Steve? <clears throat> he's, no. He's got some cool guitars. No, I've uh, most of the stuff I bought was from the guys at Swing City back when I worked there. Mm -hmm. You know, got deals on it and. You yeah. know, being a high school student, all my money went straight back into where I worked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So they just followed me home. <laughs> Did you just take your paycheck and hand it right back to the cash register? Pretty, pretty much, you've been pretty much sent it right back. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I worked at Musicland, that record store, when I was 16, and I would put so many records back in the two weeks waiting for a check that I wouldn't get a check. I'd just get the stack of albums I'd been putting back, you know. Like, ah, oh, man, I just had a dollar to eat now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I got the new Billy Joel. <laughs> no, <I didn't> <laughs> hey, we didn't start the fire, all right? <laughs> <laughs> that was when he was so lame, I got to tell you. Oh. No, I don't even know. Just, uh, you guys are all right. So so this is uh, this is great, man. We're talking to the intrusion now, which is Jacob, the bass player, Cy Venom, front man, and vocalist, as I call him, but front man sounds way cooler. Yeah, I think uh, so. Preston Shepard, the drummer's. I say drummers because he's as good as two, not because I messed it up. <laughs> and Logan Tyler, uh, guitarist who's related to uh, Tyler from Feel. Uh, Tyler Armstrong, who's nah, son of no relation. Armstrong, I just know Matt him. He's a good Armstrong. friend. Dude, I'm just going to make up a bunch of stuff. Pretty he soon does. you'll be related to Neil Armstrong if you leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, November 5th is when these guys are playing Road to Point Fest at Pops and Sage. They're with some other bands Atlas on Fire, Misplaced Religion, Ton on All Sides, Gray Flower, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And you need to get your tickets from the intrusion. Where's the best place they can catch you guys at or find you so they can get those tickets? Facebook? Uh, Facebook, Instagram. You can just, shoot, yeah, any one of us. Just shoot us a personal tape, message yeah. on Facebook Messenger or Instagram, whichever one works better. Yeah. You can find all of our profiles tagged on our band's Instagram. Yeah. Cool, yeah, cool. Good. Sounds good, man. You got any more questions for these guys? I mean, I know you got questions, but I don't know if we can talk about them on air. <laughs> <laughs> I have many questions, mm -hmm. and none of them can be aired, but you guys going to stick around for the after, right? Because i got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of you can go. No, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm Steve Nate. Thanks to the intrusion. Uh, again, Jacob uh, on bass, Cy Venom, front man, Preston Shepard on drums, and Logan Tyler, the guitarist. They're going to be playing the Point Fest, Road to Point Fest, actually. It's a, a competition to play at Point Fest. That's November 5th at Pops. Get out and check them out. Yeah, get tickets from them. Get That'll tickets help from them. them. Uh, go go to their Instagram. Uh, go to their Facebook. Find these guys and and message them. They will meet you and and sell you tickets. Don't meet Logan any. Make sure it's a public place if you're meeting. <laughs> right, this guy's creepy. most importantly. Show up November fifth and oh. represent the River Band and yeah. back these guys who are from our side. Right yes. there yeah. you go. Which you know you don't you don't even have to cross the river to get to Pops. No, no, that's that's right. Got to cross some side. strange stuff to get down there, but not a river. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've come across a few things in pops. Maybe some magma <laughs> fields. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't judge, don't be disparaging. I find your your comments shallow and pedantic. No, I, don't, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I want to thank the intrusion for coming down here. Wish them the best of luck at the uh, Point Fest competition to, to play Point Fest there. Everybody, is, as uh, Dennis said, get down there on November 5th. Support these guys. Definitely hit them up on Instagram or Facebook. 
buy the tickets off them so you know people will take them seriously when they get there. Uh, I want to thank Halpin Music, our, our sponsor. I want to thank Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance, uh, also another sponsor for the show. And finally, Michael Kreider from Farmers Insurance. He sponsors up. Alex Honky, our engineer. Farmers Insurance. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and uh, th- there you go. Everybody get out between now and next week and support some local music and art. <laughs>